here's some russulas. Russulas, russulas. I don't believe these are edible. I don't mess with the russulas too much because uh, there's just a lot of different kinds and I don't know. They just don't appear to have the texture of uh, good mushroom to me. But then again, you know, people do eat them, certain ones. This may be Russula emetica. But then again, it could be some other. But the easy way to tell Russulas is just by breaking the stem itself. Well, well, that one's a that one's a little bit buggy, and that didn't work like I hoped it would. Usually, you break it; it kind of breaks like a piece of chalk. Oh yeah, these ones are all bug eaten. Oh well, flip this one back over so I can send out any more spores if it has them. That's probably all spored out by now, though. They're all crumbly and bug-eaten. Well, anyway, there's a Rusula. Here, here's a younger one. Let's see. I don't want to... I don't want to trash them all, but this area here is... Uh, full of these things, actually. Lots of red russulas in this woods. They usually have uh, white, whitish, white to cream colored gills, and I think they also have a white to cream colored spore print. But they have a lot of different color caps, anywhere from green, uh, I believe purple, black. Uh, Tan, a lot of different colors. Red, obviously. Let's see. Let's see if we can... <sighs> These mosquitoes are bad. Yeah, see there? When they're fresh, that stem will break just like a piece of chalk. Like a somewhat soft piece of chalk, you know. But it breaks just like chalk right in half, and it it almost has that snap when you break it, just like chalk. Alright, well, there's that. Rusula. Here's some... Uh, I'm not sure, these might be some yellow waxy caps. This is a mushroom that I don't... I really don't bother with much because it's quite small and... Uh, Again, you know, it doesn't seem to have that texture of a good eating mushroom. Oh, there's all kinds of mushrooms out today. I believe I just accidentally stepped on this, and you don't find this around here very often. This is a, a purple form of coral mushroom. Um, the name slips me offhand. I have my Audubon book with me, but the bugs are so terrible, I kind of have to keep moving or else I just get ate up. I'm wearing gloves and long sleeve shirt and pants and uh, I got a bug net, but the only problem with the bug net when you're hunting mushrooms, for me anyway, is uh, it tends to block my vision. And I end up missing a lot of mushrooms. A lot of times they blend in. Yeah, there's another waxy cap. I was hoping that I might find some uh, chanarellas. That's another yellow mushroom. Yellow to orangish colored mushroom. But. I just got out here. There's mushrooms everywhere right now because we've had a lot of rain, but uh, I 
a lot of them are uh, either toxic or just plain inedible is usually the case. There's a lot of mushrooms that aren't toxic, but then again, they're really not edible either. <laughs> 